I used to love my dad so much until the day he lost his job and started drinking his life away. Seemed like ever since then he had become the devil in disguise, beating the shit out of my mom and I. I prayed every night for God to protect my mom from what my dad had become. I knew it was only a matter of time before things would get worse. A deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with Boom. You. What the fuck, bro? Are you serious? You almost got shot. Damn, Gino, my bad. What's happening with you? You seem mad heated. Look, I'm dealing with some serious shit right now. So, how about you let some of that serious shit out? I got some weed. So, what's happening with you, Shirley? Like, it seems like you just got hella shit on your mind right now. Okay. So you, you say you alright, but your energy fell off today. What's up with you, Rachel? Cause my dad, he's beating the shit out me and my mom. And I don't know what to do. I don't know how to save her. I don't know how to save us. I don't know what to do anymore. Damn. Rachel, I'm, I'm so sorry. You know, if if you need me to handle it, I mean, I know that's your pops and all, but it's better than him than you and your moms, right? You're going to be straight, you know? Trapping dead, them niggas just cowards. Just cowards.
This is Miss Naomi, your college advisor. I'm calling because I've noticed you haven't been to any of your classes for the last week, and I've received a notice to drop you from one or more of your classes from your professors. If you would, please stop by my office so we can further discuss your options and continue your college career as soon as possible. Thank you, and have a wonderful day. Make sure you come to see me. Dressed like that. The fuck Nigga, you know I had to work? Work. You had to work. <sighs> you had to fucking work, huh? Yeah, something your ass ain't. Something your ass ain't doing. I'm here with the fuck. I ain't fucking. <laughs> <laughs> look at me. Look. 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 You ain't shit. You ain't never gonna be shit. Ain't nobody gonna love you like I love you, Ray. You best believe that shit. Clean yourself up. You ain't going to school. You ain't going to the fuck the club. You gonna be here with your fucking kid taking care of her. So I can handle my motherfucking business. Please come in. Could you shut the door behind, please? Thank you. Have a seat. How are you today, Miss Rachel? I'm okay. Could be better. <laughs> yes, you could. The reason why I called you in today is because you haven't been to class in over two weeks now. And you're failing. Look, I know you've been through a lot. And I am here to do anything that I can to help you be successful. Rachel, what happened? Lord, please be with this child. Rachel, baby, what happened? I don't know what to do. Sweetie, it doesn't matter what your mother or father did or didn't do. Against all odds, what are you going to do for you and your child? Be another statistic? Black girl gets pregnant, drops out of school. In an abusive relationship. No mother or father. Sweetie, it's time for you to break the cycle. It's time for you to do something different. I never thought about a way out until the day I met Mrs. Naomi. She changed my life forever with just those simple words. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Rachel Miles, and I am proud to say that I am the first black female governor of Arkansas. I'm so honored to be able to speak with you all today. 
in hopes to share my testimony and my life story, that it will change, influence, and inspire someone's life today. You know, I wasn't always as prestigious as I am. Um, a few years ago, my father murdered my mother um, after years of abusing her and I. Long story short, I ended up repeating the same cycles as my parents. Getting um, involved in an abusive relationship, having a baby, going after the stripper lifestyle, and I almost dropped out of college. But it wasn't until I met a special angel that changed my life forever. She helped me realize that it wasn't where or what I had come from, but it was more important about breaking the cycles in my life. You know, I never, never thought that my life would be this way. You know, only if I could do better for myself. But sometimes it takes that special moment to help you realize things that you didn't already know. She helped me realize the confidence that I need and gave me the ideas that I had been praying for all along. And today, I want to thank God for sending that one. The one who asked me against all odds. Look at me. T low on the beat. Yeah. Mama, I love you. Joshua. <laughs> this one's for you, little bro. Come in this bitch, I'm so nonchalant. I can care less about what you want. Wish I can just look like my mom. Wish I had my brother on my arm. Come in this bitch, I'm so nonchalant. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come in this bitch, I'm so nonchalant. And this bitch, you're so nonchalant. I can care less about what you want. Wish I could just look like my mom. Wish I had my brother on my arm. Come in this bitch, you're so nonchalant. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come in this bitch, you're so nonchalant. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I can care less about what you want. Move the way and this is throwing down. Niggas, they tricking, they wanna look. Put some more money, my brother book. Niggas say I got an attitude. I don't care cause I don't fuck with you. I told you niggas I don't fuck with y'all. I don't fuck with you. Niggas that I wanna stop and stare. Look so good, wish they could fuck me bare. I know I'm a queen, I'm the hair doctor child. No shit, I'm rocking my natural hair. Dear mama, you know I miss you. Miss you, mama. Dear brother, I'm coming to get you. Oh, damn, as soon as they let you out, hey. As soon as they let you out.